Hi, so just a quick video to demonstrate and give you a first look at Bauma's new radar measuring sensor, the RR30. So it's a, this version here has got a universal measurement range of 300 mil to 12 meters. Uh, with IO-Link enabled, you've got 18 meters possible with it. So it's got IO-Link and analog output on it. This version here, 4 to 20 milliamps. It's got a narrow beam opening of six degrees and it's suitable for distance measurements of all kinds really and it's ideal for level measurement in uh, large containers uh, as well. So to show the analog output I've set the analog maximum at 800 mil I'm still inside of that and the analog mi minimum at 300 mil and this is 4 to 20 milliamp signal so if I now to uh, make the target closer, you see the output signal on the sensor tester there, increase, decrease, from four to 20 milliamps. So I have the radar sensor now plugged into our wireless IO link master. So I can go into the app select the master and the connected device. It will download the IODD file and it will show you the analog sensor uh, that is connected. So the radar analog sensor with IO link capabilities. I can now go into the process data and the sensor is currently looking at a wall which is out of shot, which is around two meters away. So it's giving me that peak distance there of where that uh, surface is and also what the uh, amplitude in decibels of that um, peak is that it's measuring on that surface. So it can measure multiple um, distances within its view um, and give you the peaks of those and you can filter those in and out as you wish using the user profiles that it has. For example, if I put a box now that you can see just appearing in shot around 300 mil away I can just get it into the view, there we go, around 300 mil away from the sensor. Let's give it the measurement there. And out of shot again, back to the wall, up to 2.1 meters as it can see. I can go into the device settings of the sensor, go into the parameters, go into all the different capabilities and options you have for the sensor. It's got some nice application specific profiles already selectable, so standard um, applications, uh, fill level uh, applications within tanks, etc. that you can select that have got predefined filters in them to allow you to get the best result out of the sensor. And you can, as we did in the output settings, select the analog output, set the minimum and maximum ranges, uh, and also the milliamp for those. So I set the maximum range at 800 mil and the minimum range at 300 mil and the analog minimum at four milliamps and maximum 20 milliamps to scale that 300 mil to 800 mil over Back to process data you can see all of the figures and uh, switch points and counts etc in the uh, sense control app with IOLink capability so the sensor has lots of adjustable parameters from switching point switching hysteresis the measured value uh, filtering Measuring range, time filters, output logic, uh, counter function, analog output characteristics, the LED indicators, and also uh, switching window definition, and of course the signal sensitivity. It's got some great user predefined uh, profiles on it for precise, uh, which is the standard, uh, a fill level for fluids, fill level. Um, for solids uh, and also tracking uh, applications. 
So just to summarize, the uh, radar sensor here with analog output and IO link capability is a stable measuring signal, even in adverse ambient conditions, uh, even with the soiling on the sensor cap itself. It's IP6869 K with ProTech Plus, uh, reliable at low temperatures down to minus 40 degrees. And it's a great solution for lots of different applications where it be outdoor vehicle positioning, um, position detection of large structures, crane bridges, crane trolleys, transfer trolleys. Excellent for fill level measurement in open or closed containers. It's got a great range on it. Straight out of the box, it does 300 mil to 12 meters. If you're using IO link, you can get it up to 18 meters.